I'm here together with our fountain specialists, Joe Carlisle with Turpin Landscaping. And Joe and Turpin Landscaping have set up the water features associated with this great fountain that hasn't seen water since the year 2000. And we're about to turn it on and I'm about to see it for the first time. So here we go. Whoa. Very cool. The first thing that I'm noticing are these step pools within the sculpture that there are places designed for the water to cascade. And so the water is, is, is sliding down these undulating forms, but then also it looks like the fountain is designed with places for the water to spill. Beautiful. Can you tell us any, any surprises here? Well, obviously, at the moment, the water is shooting very high, much further than we probably would want in the future. Right. But the effect right now, the drama is incredible. It's really yeah. producing quite a uh, visually spectacular piece that wow. is fantastic. Yeah. How many nozzles of water are there? I know We know that the artist, Bertoya, designed the fountain with the idea of nozzles coming up the center. How many did you put? Currently there are six nozzles pushing in the neighborhood of uh, 14,000 gallons per hour wow. through the center of the town. And we're not using that amount of water though, so why don't you describe what's happening. The water comes up through the center of the fountain, and then what happens? As it comes up from the center of the fountain, it collects in the pools and cascades down. Obviously now it's going beyond our sure. scope of the liner that we installed. <laughs> right. The idea right. is that the water cascades back mm -hmm. into the pool that is beneath it, that is actually a reservoir holding tank that allows wow. the water to be recirculated. So we're not wasting a large amount of water, but in fact, continuously reusing the same water. Beautiful. Mm. One of the interesting parts we notice with the fountain running is the flower on the corner here. Let's sure see the flower. Here. Wow, that's beautiful. So the water comes through the hole and gently drips down. Wow. What's interesting too is that the water behaves differently with different parts of the sculpture. And so, for example, I can walk up here to the flower, so to speak, and be protected by the umbrella above. Whereas um, there are other places where I will get wet. At the moment, it's very exciting. It's a lot very of exciting. Splash, but it's incredible, and it's just. It captivates my mind to think about the future for this fountain and children gathering around this fountain and really experiencing the life that it yeah. brings. This water flowing from the plant based sculpture is just really beautiful. incredible. It's beautiful. I want to walk, let's walk around it together. Wow. I love the view of the fountain from this side. And I love that this opening, which to me is so human scale, invites you in and serves as a cave, even more so now with the water flowing. Yeah. Wow. Again, another point we can just walk straight in. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's the perfect size for you. <laughs> <laughs> Almost mimicking things you would find in nature where there would be yeah. hidden places in Shelter. the rainforest even that would be cascading water around with a heavy torrential downpour of rain and yet still places that are almost solitude-like that wow. you rest and find tranquility. Even if the reservoir contains a fair amount of water that we're not, we're not even happy. Uh, empty at this moment. Very cool.